can't believe I haven't made a video featuring this tool yet because it's my go-to for quickly removing sounds like pops or clicks or beeps. And while this tool makes it super easy to remove those disruptive sounds from parts of your audio where there's no speaking, we're also gonna see if we can remove an annoying beep sound that happens during a talking part. Do you think we'll be able to remove it without affecting the voice itself? Let me know in the comments below. And just feel the need to mention this. So of course, it's always best to make sure when you're recording audio that there aren't any random noises happening that could disrupt your recording. But if you do get stuck, this tutorial will hopefully help you out. Grab a pair of headphones so you can really hear the adjustments we're making in our audio. Let's hop into Audition and check this out. Okay, so we're in Adobe and we have some dialogue audio already imported. We'll be able to edit and remove sounds much easier if we go to the spectral frequency display. I almost always use the spectral frequency display because it does let you see much more within your audio than the waveform view. So we can go up here and click on this little spectral frequency icon, or you could go up to view and choose show spectral frequency display. How many times did I say spectral frequency display there? Like five? Anyway, let's have a listen to this audio so we can hear where our disruptive beep sound is. That I'm gonna be using to work with blend modes and overlays here on my timeline. Let's go to effect. Yeah, that beep is super annoying. We can see where the beep sound is right here and here. Now, the second beep happens in an area where there's no talking, which will make it really easy to remove because we don't have to worry about also removing part of our dialogue when we get this beep out. Let's go up to our toolbar and click on the Band-Aid icon, which is the spot healing brush. If you wanna increase the size of your brush, you can use the right bracket key on your keyboard. I'll just make it a little bit bigger than the sound itself. Click and spot heal this whole beep out. Okay, now let's check out how Spot Heal did here on my timeline. Let's go to Effect Controls and awesome. You can't even hear any remnants of that annoying beep sound at all. So that was nice and easy because we didn't have to worry about anything else being removed from the audio. But here's the ultimate test. Can we remove that beep that's happening within the dialogue? So I wanna do my best to remove this beep without affecting the quality and the sound of the dialogue itself. I'm gonna remove a few parts of the beep here and let's listen to playback to make sure I haven't affected the voice. Work with blend mode, work with blend. Okay, that sounds better now that the beep sounds more like a faint clicking noise and I can visually see the areas that I still want to use the spot healing brush on. So I'll do that now. To work with blend mode, to work with blend modes, using to work with blend modes and over. I'm gonna be using to work with blend modes and overlays here on my timeline. Awesome, that worked really well. So with this particular disruptive sound happening in my dialogue, I was able to remove the beep using the spot healing brush, but it's super important to be aware that depending on your dialogue recording and depending on the disruptive noise itself, you may not be able to complete completely remove it without affecting the voice. And if you're looking for even more ways to remove noises, definitely check out my tutorial, Isolate and Remove Sounds in Adobe Edition. It will help you out as well. Are there any other audio questions you have when it comes to working in Adobe Edition or Premiere Pro? If so, let me know in the comments below because I'd be happy to make a tutorial for you. And we release weekly-ish videos all about filmmaking as well as gear reviews. If you're into that sort of thing, subscribe to stay in the loop.